Good morning everyone, happy Wednesday. Uh, it's raining its rear end off so outside. Mm. It's raining its rear end off outside. I don't know why my mouth doesn't want to work today. Uh, busy day ahead of me today. I've got several meetings at the rescue squad I have to go to. Uh, like I said, the behind the scenes work of a rescue squad is a hell of a lot more in depth than I had anticipated, but fun nonetheless. And I'm making breakfast, my cookies and cream protein shake for the day. Uh, I have been trying to lose weight. I'm down at least 16, 17 pounds. Um, and I can see it in my face and I'm happy about that. So I want to continue the progression downward from being super heavy from all the steroids I've been on to getting back to a baseline-ish weight of where I'm comfortable. Uh, that and weight loss apparently helps you breathe a little more too, so they say. <laughs> but when your lungs are scarred and you can't process oxygen the same way, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but it's life, it is what it is. So I'm still trying to lose weight because that's a personal goal of mine. Uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of homework, I'm going to post and edit the vlog at the squad and pretty much be there most of the day because I have a meeting at 4, then another meeting at 5, then I have to hand out bags to crews uh, for day crew and night crew so it's going to be a very busy night. <clears throat> and uh, since it's raining, I figured I'd rock the curls because it would do, it would curl my hair if it was straight. So. Such is life. But uh, let me get to drinking my breakfast here and then heading out the door. Hopefully it won't take as long today to, uh, the lighting in this room sucks. But hopefully it won't take so long to upload and edit the vlog today. I've got faster Wi-Fi, power connection, the whole nine, so fingers crossed. But computer's out and ready, hard drives are ready, so time to get editing. And then I'm gonna do some homework and then I have two meetings in the next two and a half hours, so onward. Meeting is still going on, but I have other things I have to get accomplished tonight, so onward to that. Now that work's done, uh, volunteer life anyway. There's a movie coming out called Annihilation, and uh, it looks to be a really cool sci-fi movie, so I'm coming to Barnes & Noble to buy the book so I can read the book before I see the movie, because I do that. All right, finished at Barnes and Noble. Three books, and uh, they have these really cute book markers. Um, they have uh, treble clef, bass clef, uh, eighth note, and a sixteenth note on these little. Uh, bookmarks and I guess on the one side it has an arrow and the other side it has a little artsy thing and um, music is kind of something I, I everybody in my family has done something with music I played saxophones and I learned I'm still learning how to play the cello uh, my younger brother Patrick plays the cello and guitar my youngest brother Dylan he's huge on guitar I think my brother Pat did bass too and then I think my older brother was uh, in band for a little bit and then he became a football player so no band you play football uh, so it meant a little bit more when I bought them because I thought they were really cool and uh, the book series I bought is um, the Southern Reach series like and the new movie that's coming out Annihilation um, from the looks of it it looks like a great movie with a good storyline and I'm the kind of person that when I see a movie like that I want to buy the book so I did uh, with that in mind, it's already like 7 o'clock at night, and I've been at the rescue squad since uh, 11 o'clock this morning, so I'm heading home. Uh, I have the leftover pasta from Maggiano's, and I still have the spaghetti squash to make, which is still surprisingly holding up. Um, like I said, food comes to my house to die sometimes, but homeward bound it is, and for tonight I'm going to relax a little bit and just... Uh, read for pleasure for once instead of reading for school so kind of take my mind off of thinking about psychology for five minutes so to speak but onward to home and one of the small realities of being on oxygen yeah i've got blood like everywhere uh on my way home i started having a massive nosebleed about almost all the way home so 
Uh, yeah. I've got blood all over my hands. Thankfully it missed the shirt because I had tissues in the car. One thing anybody who's been on oxygen for a while should have are tissues in their car. For sure. It's been a long day. It's already 8 o'clock at night and I didn't get very good sleep last night. Um, mostly because I'm fretting over a book bag versus my leather briefcase. Now, I've hashed this a few times, but unfortunately my books are starting to get thicker and heavier the longer I'm in school. And my next class actually has three textbooks, each 600 pages a piece. So I, I need to unfortunately move to a backpack. Uh, a, it holds the weight better. B, it's a little bit more ergonomic. And C, well, my leather briefcase is only so big. Uh, so yeah, it's been a long day. A lot of meetings at the rescue squad. There's a lot of behind the scenes work that uh, people don't actually see and even members of the rescue squad don't actually see that I am now a part of. Um, good meetings nonetheless. It was great to actually learn some new things about uh, social media and getting up and branding basically. That was one of the meetings I was in today because I am the photographer and I do social media every day. Um, so that's, that's a plus but I'm gonna call it a night and try and get some rest. So with that in mind, I'm gonna end the vlog here by saying as always, have a great night and I will see you guys tomorrow.